the suspect in connection with Sarah Everard's kidnap and her death was actually a serving member of the Metropolitan Police Force. There was a vigil on the weekend. Even Kate, the Duchess of Cambridge, made a private visit to lay flowers. But later on Saturday night, the police tried to break up the crowd and helped fuel more protests last night. Sexist police on our streets! Sexist, Sexist police, police off our streets, they shouted. Okay, wh what, what are these cops thinking? Getting violent at a vigil over an officer murdering this woman? The only way those cops could have been more tone deaf is if they had mansplained the protest chants back to the women. You can't be going around breaking up a vigil. A vigil is, by definition, the most peaceful of all gatherings. No one ever says, yo, man, you gotta come through. This vigil is about to be wild. I swear, the police could avoid so many headaches if they just hired one person whose only job is to ask, is this something the good guys would do? That way, when the police chief says, okay, tonight, we're gonna go to a peaceful vigil and tackle women, then that person can raise their hand, ask their one question, is this something the good guys would do? And we can avoid this entire situation. The new CBS News poll finds that a third of Republicans say they will not get vaccinated. That's more than Democrats and independents. Dr. Anthony Fauci urging former President Donald Trump to persuade more of his followers to get the COVID-19 vaccine. I think it would make all the difference in the world. He's a very widely popular person among Republicans. If he came out and said, go and get vaccinated, it's really important for your health, the health of your family, and the health of the country, uh, it, it seems absolutely inevitable that uh, the vast majority of people who are his close followers would listen to him. I just don't get it, Chris, why they don't want to get vaccinated. What? Of course they'll listen to him. Trump can convince his followers to do anything. The man convinced them to overthrow the government and try to hang Mike Pence and that they all look good in a busted red hat. And I can't say that I'm surprised. I can't say that I'm surprised that Trump isn't making an effort to get people vaccinated. I mean, the man barely did his job when he had his job. You think he's gonna start working now for free? He, he understood um, the gravity of it and he was pretty much fed up and kind of at the end of his rope and, uh, and yesterday was a really bad day for him and this is what he did. This is truly horrifying. Eight people dead, six of them Asian women. And soon we'll learn all about them and who they were in life. But all we know right now is that they are dead and a 21-year-old white man with a gun killed them. But whatever you do, please do, don't tell me that this thing had nothing to do with race. Even if the shooter says that, he thinks it had to do with his sex addiction. You can't disconnect this violence from the racial stereotypes that people attach to Asian women. This guy blamed a specific race of people for his problems and then murdered them because of it. If, if that's not racism, then the word has no meaning. And as if the violence, as if the, the, the trauma isn't enough, the, the part that breaks my brain, and I think so many people get affected by this as well because it feels like you're crazy when you're watching it, is where you see the police officer come out and almost trying to humanize the shooter more than the people who got shot. He was at the end of his rope. It, it was a bad day for him. For him? Yo, yesterday was a bad day for him? No, yesterday was a bad day for all the people who lost their lives. Marvel will introduce a gay Captain America. Marvel released images of Aaron Fisher yesterday, touting him as the first openly queer character in Captain America's 80-year history. This is maybe my favorite, most upsetting story of the day. I have mixed emotions about this, is because it's just, the country's going bananas. He is a gay Captain America, complete with a nose ring, tats. When he takes off his skull cap there, he's got like a mohawk thing. He's not very muscular. What would really be pushing the boundaries is if maybe they had a conservative superhero or a Trump supporting superhero. Okay, okay. First of all, there already have been plenty of conservative superheroes, right? They don't say it, but you can tell. Like, there's no way that billionaire Bruce Wayne supports taxing the rich. And Hawkeye, I mean, the guy lives on a farm in Iowa and has a Proud Boys haircut, come on. Wanda Maximoff, she wanted nothing more than to build a wall and take the country back to the 1950s. You don't need to say it. 